We're joined by junior Gene Newsom and sophomore Courtney Kendall uh, following UNE's 12-11 overtime victory over Curry this evening in the rain at the Big Blue Turf. Uh, Gina, start with you. UNE got off to a pretty quick start, 5-1 after the opening 10 minutes or so. What was what was working early on for the offense? Well, we knew that we had to come out strong. Um, Curry's a very good team, and coming off of a win of Nichols, um, we knew we had to come out 10 times harder, especially this win put us into playoffs, which is a really good spot for us because we, were not made play we didn't make playoffs until now, um, which put us in a really good spot, and we came out, we knew what we had to do, and we played like a team. Courtney, they, they responded. They scored five straight goals after that, took the lead for a brief moment. Uh, UNE regained the lead and led 8-7 at halftime. What was the discussion at halftime to make any adjustments, or, or were things all good? Um, well, at halftime we talked about just continuing to play our game because obviously we came out right, at, right out of the gates and it worked. So we just had to remind ourselves that our game does work, and when it works, it works really well. And when we play together, it works really well. It's when we stop playing together that we start to fall apart. So. Uh, throughout the game, uh, Courtney, you had, well, they were 2 of 11 on free position shots, which is a pretty good percentage for you. Mm -hmm. um, what, what were you focusing on as you were defending those in goal? Well, to start, I've got a little bit of time to set up because they're writing down the foul or whatever. But um, I listen to my teammates. Most of the time, 90% of them are yelling encouragements and you got it. And then I just watch the ball. And um, actually, I can't take credit for all of those. I'm pretty sure a lot, like at least half of those were stopped by my, de my defenders. I just watched it go right into their stick and it was beautiful. Yep. Uh, UNE had the lead most of the second half. Um, but again, goals were at a premium. Uh, game goes to overtime. You start overtime down a player um, with a card. And Gina, you were given a free position opportunity less than 30 seconds into overtime. Talk about what you saw there and, and about the sh shot that ended up being the game winner. Well, I mean, our um, assistant coach this year, you know, she's told us, she had kind of an analogy, and she was like, you know, if we have one link down, we have to all work harder. And I knew that I once it was my free position, I kind of got nervous because I haven't been doing them very well this season. Um, but I kind of just looked, I kind of took a deep breath, and I knew we were in overtime, and I kind of was like, I got this, and I placed it right in my spot, her left hip, and it was good. I knew it was our game. You held on the rest of the way. Um, Courtney, two, they were over on free position shots in overtime, over two. Um, and secure the victory. Gina, next up is, is Western New England. They defeated Endicott this evening to remain unbeaten in conference. They're still undefeated on the season. What's it going to take to hand the Golden Bears their first loss on Saturday? Well, we're going to have to definitely play a good team. Um, we're switching up our defense back to our defense that we always play and how we trust each other. Um, I think after tonight's win, we definitely feel confident in our teammates. And um, we're going to definitely, it's our senior night, so we're definitely going to give the Bears a big loss. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, it's again, 12-11 victory, overtime victory over Curry this evening. Gina, Courtney, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.